yeah, developer notes you guys just said, right? Let me take a look. Oh, developer notes number two. Okay, it just came out right now. Poggers. All right, we have developers notes number two here. Let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at this here. Greetings from the Summoner's War team. We are here today to talk about the second part of the upcoming coming update. The official title has been decided after our developer note one was released. The Asian Labyrinth, Ancient Labyrinth is now called is now called as the what the ancient labyrinth is now called as the hello do we even grammar uh tartarus labyrinth but did i say asian labyrinth i'm ancient labyrinth okay come on man you, you make fun of my accent eh? am i saying it wrong because it, it, it does it sounds underwhelmingly not cool yeah tartarus tartarus yeah the tartarus labyrinth maybe, maybe that's that's better yeah the tartar sauce <laughs> i mean guardians of labyrinth when you explore labyrinth you would encounter you will encounter with three mid bosses. Okay. Okay, this, this, I, I know what happened here. This is direct translation from Korean, I think. Yep. Uh, Guardians of Labyrinth and the final boss, Tartarus. First, we will explain more about three Guardians of Labyrinth. Each of Guardians of Labyrinth has one attack skill, but don't underestimate them because they only have one skill. Each of Guardian of Labyrinth has of a one of attack of don't of estimate them because of they only one skill okay the guardians of labyrinth have a special ability to strengthen their attacking skill by absorbing the Im 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 this is like first grade reading all over again man this is like the worst book ever hello Im 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 immemorial yeah i have to read it. immemorial 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 magic power which with rune patterns next to each guardian all right these guys these guys are pretty cool yeah these guys look really cool. Well, let's see here. Kato's fire attribute. Kato's is an aggressive guardian who attacks with swords in both hands. Cool. Kato's grants continuous damage when attacking and has an attack skill that inflicts a certain amount of additional damage proportionate, proportionate to the max HP based on the number of continuous uh, effects granted on the enemy who are under the continuous damage. Okay, so it does dots and it does more damage depending if you have more dots on you. So basically, you want to bring cleansers against them, right? That's kind of like a... Decent strategy. Attack on enemies two times to inflict continuous damage. Two times to percent chance. Inflict. Okay. Counter attack with whenever attacked by an enemy. Attack additionally after attacking. Instantly defeats all enemies under continuous damage when attacking. Oh. Oh my god. What, imagine when it does that skill. Immemorial magic power. Instantly defeats all enemies under continuous damage when attacking. Okay. You better bring in a cleanser, bro. Yeah. If that thing hits you, you're done. Removes all harmful effects. Grant on yourself and become immune to harmful effects when absorbing a more. Okay. I'm um, attacking an enemy with magical flame sword. Whenever your HP decreases by 25%, absorb all the magic powers and the attack with enhanced effect on immemorial magic power exists. Additionally, weakens the effect of the attack that proportionate to the amount of HP that you proportionally did if you have more than 25% HP, along with the fact that if you have a red sword in your left hand and a blue sword in your right hand, if your mom has a pet frog and your dad's uncle's sister's brother has less than 10% HP, go ahead and wipe out your opponent's... Uh, opponent's team okay solid yeah last skill here gains attack whenever it okay you know what i'm not gonna read any more of these skills okay i'm just gonna look I'm, I'm just gonna look at the name get the gist of the skills and we're just gonna move on to the rest of the units okay or the rest of these bosses all right yeah the, the, the developers know to here you can go into more detail yeah and uh, see all the actual effects but we can kind of get a generalization of what it does the elements and how we can consider beating it yeah bring cleansers don't get dotted basically with that one uh leos Water attribute here. Uh, Leos has a gigantic two-handed hammer to attack. Leos has a basic skill of attacking all enemies with a giant hammer and freezes them with a fixed chance. Okay, so a CC unit. So you know what I feel? You know how you counter both of these? You bring in immunity. Boom. We're God. Instantly. Delphoi. God. Any cleanser. A God. Yeah, just bring in, bring in immunity. A and you are good to go on both of these guys. Let's be real. Okay. What's the OP? Yeah. Amelia. Great. Here's a third one here. This guy has like a shield and this guy probably is pretty tanky. Uh, gu 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 is. How, how, how you say that? How you say that? How you say that? Only one person can help me with this. And that's Google Translate. Giles. Giles. There we go. Yeah, easy. Google Translate's the best. Thanks, Google Translate. Yeah, Giles. Giles. Yeah, there you go. Giles. Giles has a one-handed blunt weapon and a shield. Giles is a guardian with the most defensive characteristic. It has a basic skill of attacking all enemies with one-handed weapon and drains the damage and drains the damage dealt. So it's tanky. Creates a shield. Okay. Destroy enemies. Max HP. 
Defeat the enemy with the lowest max HP and recover yourself by HP. Removes all harmful effects. Attacks the enemy with... Okay, so it just seems like a tanky unit. Yeah, it gets shielded. It, 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 it drains, like, your health. You know? Yeah, it, does, it destroys your max HP. So, okay. Yeah, this 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 one seems maybe the, the most annoying. Maybe to fight out of all of them, to be honest. Alright, this seems the most annoying so far. Each of Immemorial magic power can be destroyed, meaning that you can greatly decrease the power of Guardians of Labyrinth by destroying them first before the Guardians absorb their power. It will be a fun it will be fun to strategize your way to attack the guards first or destroy the immemorial magic power first and then attack the guardians. Okay, so there's gonna be a strategy on what you decide to do and how you do it while you're approaching these uh, mini bosses. Yeah, that, that should be very interesting there. All right, let's talk about the final boss here. Um, Zakum. I mean, uh, sorry. Uh, 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 sorry about that. Uh, Horn Horntail Dragon. I mean, I mean, uh, sorry. Tartarus. My bad. Yeah, Tartarus. My bad. Sorry, wrong game. Uh, Tartarus, the ruler of Labyrinth. Unlike the Guardian of Labyrinth that used different weapons, Tartarus rather uses his giant hands. <laughs> Zakum. <laughs> yeah, probably. And powerful breath to attack. See below to learn more about the skill types that Tartarus uses. Okay, so it just seems like it's a really, really strong boss. Yeah, I don't know if you, some of you guys saw the live stream that they did where, you know, that guy was using a team against uh, Tartarus. But uh, it seemed like it wasn't too difficult. You know what I mean? You bring in a solid team and you'll be okay, right? I believe that the boss has like its arms and its head all have different runes. So like the head could be on violent, the sides could be on you know, destroy, you know what I mean? And depending on which one attacks, it'll have the chance to either proc another turn or if it's on despair, maybe despair stun, right? It didn't seem too difficult. But then again, I believe there's gonna be three different difficulties when you guys do these uh, guild labyrinths. Yeah, I think the guy was doing a normal stage, right? So um, the other stages are probably gonna be more difficult, but it didn't really seem that crazy difficult to defeat this, you know, boss, especially for your end game players. Maybe early game players, you're gonna have to strategize a little bit more in order to defeat it on, you know, harder stages rather than normal right i'll probably look into these a little bit more when they're you know actually released we might have to strategize yeah i'm gonna be i'm curious to see how these these different skills that the mini bosses has and the bit the the, the main boss has will you know put you know i guess you can say obstacles in some of the uh, different players uh in trying to defeat it yeah and we definitely try to strategize on how to defeat it but i guess we talked a little bit about uh each mini boss Kind of giving you some strategies. I guess immunity is a big player, big factor here. And I feel like you can use a lot of units that you're already using in like elemental rifts and dungeons. We're going to see. I'm very curious. You know, anytime they release new content like this, there's always that 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 nat 2, that nat 3, that nat 4, or even that nat 5 that's, that, is, that is really, really strong for this content. You know, like before raids, I mean, not everybody built a Colleen, right? So, you know, I'm curious to see what kind of new unit will be built now and be used and is like very common for everybody to build and use to defeat all these stages very easily there's one more important thing about tartarus the bosses of labyrinth have a strong bond with one another so survival status of guardian of labyrinth will affect tartarus tartarus will become stronger when the guardians of labyrinth are alive in other words the more guardians of labyrinth you defeat the weaker tartarus becomes okay so that's interesting too yeah it, it, we're gonna have to strategize now if your guild is strong enough maybe it's possible to just straight up go ahead and look for tartarus the the final boss and just kill it if you're if your guild's strong enough right if your guild's not as strong, you're going to have to go and kill those mini-bosses before you kill Tartarus, right? It's going to be interesting to see how strong they make this unit. One of the great strategies we suggest is to attack Guardians of Labyrinth before challenging the mighty Tartarus. Today, we introduced you about the bosses you'll encounter in the Labyrinth. Beware that the developer's note has been written during the... Yeah, so some of this may not be 100% into when they go live. Yeah, they could change anything. So, just keep that in mind. But it's going to be the general basis for this... Um, Tartarus Labyrinth. Yeah, it's not called Ancient Labyrinth anymore. It's Tartarus Labyrinth. We're we talking about the rewards that users can acquire from the Tartarus Labyrinth and answering some questions that summoners have regarding the developers. No, I am very curious to hear about your rewards. Yeah, come to us. But overall, hopefully this kind of gives you a little bit more insight into this Tartarus Labyrinth that uh, we can expect coming out this month. Today is July 9th, so sometime this month. I don't know. Yeah, I'm expecting, hopefully in two weeks would be great, but yeah, maybe towards the end of this month. I'm excited for it. I hope you guys are too. I mean, I, I, if the rewards are really good, I can see this being pretty hyped up and uh, pretty fun to uh, try to, you know, explore and uh, figure out strategies to defeat. They buff revivers. Don't think that was random. Oh, but that's true, actually. Maybe revivers are going to play a, diff uh, a good role. You're right. You're definitely right on that. What's up fam? It's your boy Siri. If you enjoyed the video and want to support Gohana and look fly as heck doing it, check the description because we got some kind of new merch. Woo!